traditional publishing or self-publishing. Today, let's compare and contrast between traditional publishing and self-publishing. Hi, I'm Pooja Mohan. I'm an indie aka self-published author working to self-publish my seventh book and welcome to my writing studio. Let me preface this by saying that everything I talk about in these videos is my experience with the industry so far. There is a lot of information available online, so I would urge you to do your own research before you make a decision about what is the right option for you. So let's get started. In my last video, I talked about the different types of publishing options that are available in India. We touched upon traditional publishing, self-publishing, hybrid publishing, as well as we spoke about Vanity Press. So in case you didn't check out that video, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I feel there were some key factors that influenced my decision to go for self-publishing and I'll be using those to compare and contrast between self-publishing and traditional publishing. The first thing is money and there are two folds to it. First is the investment and then is the return on investment. So let's talk about investment first. In self-publishing, since you are the publisher, you are expected to foot the bill for everything uh, like, like editing, cover design, marketing and everything else. Uh, whereas in traditional publishing, the publisher is taking care of all these things. Editing, cover design and the likes, these are costly services. So you have to be prepared for uh, investing in these things. Along with the investment that comes with the publishing aspect of it, you're also investing in improving your craft and learning the tools that goes with publishing. The second part of money that I spoke of, uh, that is return on investments, that is the royalty bit of it. Uh, so while you go with traditional publishers, uh, you may get an advance but your royalty might not be as high as some of the self-published authors get. Uh, in case of self-publishing, you can get a royalty anywhere between 30% to 70%. So that is another thing that you might want to take into consideration while choosing between traditional and self-publishing. The next thing that I want to talk about is your copyrights. Now, typically in traditional publishing, the publisher holds your copyright but that might not be the case with every traditional publisher and in case of self-publishing you own the rights to all your work the other aspect of copyright is that if you're using someone else's artwork in the form of say illustrations you are responsible to making sure that you own the rights or you have the rights to use those illustrations uh, these things are then again taken care of for you by the publisher in case of traditional publishing. One of the most important things that everyone talks about is decision making in self-publishing and people seem to enjoy the freedom of making decisions with every aspect of publishing when it comes to self-publishing whereas this is highly restricted in case of traditional publishing. Now, depending upon your goal from writing career, you might want to see whether or not you want to be completely hands on and involved in every aspect of publishing. Now, before I continue further, leave me a comment below and tell me what is it that you want from your writing career, whether you want accolades, money, fame or everything. Now, timing is another thing that you might want to consider while making your choice. In traditional publishing, usually it takes a year or more to get a book released. Whereas in self-publishing, you get to decide how fast you want your books to be released. And you can actually release one book a month, which is incredibly hard in traditional publishing, unless and until you're an established author. In that case, you might get two or more releases in a year. Now in self-publishing you have very limited options when it comes to awards and prizes 
so if that is something that you want out of your writing career you might want to go with traditional publishing instead of self publishing another thing that a lot of people want from their writing career is to see their books in a bookstore which is a little difficult in case of self publishing whereas in traditional publishing these things are streamlined and someone else is taking care of all these things on your behalf so that is again something that you would want to think about while making your decision about going with traditional publishing or self publishing now these were the things that i thought of while making my decision before i chose self publishing now in my case for me i like the learning curve that comes with self publishing my why behind self publishing is very clear i am enjoying investing my time and effort in the actual craft of writing i hope you found this informative and it helps you to make your decision whether to go with self publishing or traditional publishing next week i'll share with you the one thing that you need to know before even researching further about self publishing and you don't want to miss that video so make sure you subscribe to my channel and the notification bell is turned on leave me a comment below and tell me are you a self published author already or are you planning to self publish your novel i hope this video was informative for you and you'll consider subscribing to my channel i'll see you in the next one